Heart is made up of three layers, outer layer of fibrous pericardium, middle layer of muscular myocardium and inner layer of endocardium. Heart function is to collect blood and pump blood into the lungs and system. In the system, cells, tissues, organs utilizes the oxygen and nutrition and veins collect the blood from the system and lungs and give back to heart. In the 3D model of heart, we can see the myocardial contraction and relaxation in action. This contraction of atrium and ventricles enable the blood flow in the heart and out of the heart. As you can see, when atrium contracts, the atrioventricular valve opens and when ventricles contract, the semilunar valves open. This contraction and relaxation of atrium and ventricles enables the blood flow within the heart and out of the heart and this process is known as the cardiac cycle. There are three steps of cardiac cycle, the atrial systole, the ventricle systole and complete cardiac diastole. Systole means contraction while diastole means relaxation. Blood comes into the right atrium through superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Blood comes into the left atrium through pulmonary veins. Atrial systole occurs when atrium is completely filled with blood. Atrial systole happens in 0.1 second. Atrial systole pushes blood from right atrium to right ventricle and left atrium to left in the ventricle. next step when ventricles are filled ventricle systole occurs which takes about 0.3 second the blood from right ventricle goes to pulmonary artery to the lungs and from left ventricle the blood goes to system through aorta after ventricle systole the heart enters a relaxed state in which atrium refilling occurs this phase is known as complete cardiac diastole and which takes up about 0.4 second. Let's take a look at pie chart to understand cardiac cycle. One cardiac cycle equals one heartbeat. Our heartbeat 72 times per minute which means these three phases occurs in each heartbeat. In atrial systole the blood is pushed from atrium to ventricles. In ventricle systole, the blood from ventricles goes to lungs and system. In complete cardiac diastole, the heart is at resting state and atrium refilling occurs. This cycle goes on throughout our life until death. Unlike skeletal muscles, the myocardium is not under voluntary control just like our smooth muscles the autonomic nervous system can only increase the myocardial activity or decrease the myocardial activity if the brain can only increase or decrease the heart rate then who gives signal to the myocardium who controls the rhythm and what controls our heart when we are in sleep the answer to that question is the conducting system of the heart the heart can generate its own impulse this property is known as autorhythmicity the conducting system of heart has two nodes which are bunch of neuromuscular tissue connected to each other by nerve fibers this is your SA node AV node bundle branch and Purkinje fibers SA node is unstable and depolarizes 60 to 80 times in a minute when SA node depolarizes it gives signal to AV node through electrical impulses which causes AV node to depolarize and give signal to bundle of his bundle branch and the Purkinje fibers transfer of electrical signal from SA node to AV node causes atrium contraction AV node to bundle branch and Purkinje fibers causes ventricle contraction and when there is no charge it causes complete cardiac rest these electrical activity of SA node and AV node can be measured with the help of ECG here we can see SA node depolarization causes P wave 
and AV node depolarization causes QRS wave and complete cardiac diastole causes T wave. To summarize conducting system cardiac cycle and blood flow, we can see that when SA node gets activated, in cardiac cycle atrial contraction occurs which takes up about 0.1 second. This atrial contraction causes blood from atrium to go to ventricles. When AV node gets depolarized, it causes ventricular systole which takes up about 0.3 second. Ventricle contractions enable the ventricles to pump blood into the lungs and into the system. And when there is no electrical charge and the current gets dispersed complete cardiac diastole occurs which takes up about 0.4 second during which the blood returns to right atrium and left atrium and this cycle is repeated throughout our life. If you want to learn more about heart, its structure and blood flow, you can watch my previous videos whose links are given in description.